Welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Lincoln Financial Field, and it is indeed home to the 2018 Super Bowl champion Eagles. The link also is home to the Temple Owls. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Coastal Carolina shot to clear. Taking on a team from the AAC, the Temple Owls. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Temple about to kick it off and get this game underway. He'll bring it out. It's Taylor. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. The shot to clears. Offense takes the field. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with him, a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Vasco. Dumps it off in the flats. And he's going to lose yardage. He was looking everywhere for just a little grass and a little air, and none to be found. And guys, this third and long is not exactly how they drew it up. Hopefully it's not an indication of what we'll see the rest of the game. Getting some, and he's all bottled up, and now it's worse, the ball's loose. And the defense jumps on it, they get that turnover. There is little that warms the heart of a defender like a strip sack, even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away, use those long arms to create the turn. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. The give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the offense is trying to go counter, but the defense blows it up. And they do it by getting penetration up the middle, setting up the tackle for loss. Still looking on the move. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. And a golden opportunity slips away from the defense there. That's one he'd love to have back. He knows he should have come away with the interception there in the red zone. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up in the route, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. Coming out with it, it's Taylor. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. They coughed it up on that last drive, but the defense really bailed them out, holding him to a field goal, Jesse. Yeah, and I think the offense kind of got away from their identity a little bit on that last drive, David. They got to kind of get back to doing what they do. Yeah, and hold on to the football. I mean, defense just did their job. Stopped them, held them to a field goal, limited the damage. Now it's time for the offense to get the momentum going again. They'll go to the ground. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Dropping back, it's Vasco. Pressure coming. And they got him. They'll get him down from the sack. And after that last sack, man, you can just see it. They are feeling themselves. After pitching a shutout last week, after dominating early in this game, 
just seems like they're playing with a different aggression and a different level of intensity than what their opponent is. They have been so dumb. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They started this drive in great field position now, needing to convert on third and two. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. And the Owls come to the line with a new set of downs. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. He'll try to take it back. He's at the 30. Inside the 10. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina! What about the speed for that defender on the return? He's showing you, Reese, like, listen, it's not just wide receivers that can do that. I can take this thing to the house. I got some moves. Watch this. Unbelievable job flipping the field. Offense about to score. Defense makes the huge plays and gets points out of it. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. That last pick six after a drive like that, David can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards, but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. Looking downfield, it's Simon. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Where did he find a hole in that secondary? Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. Looking to throw. He's got it on the move. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Second and goal coming up. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? That's the end of the period, and Coastal Carolina has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Going for six. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Temple. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Coastal Carolina has it. The shot to clear offense headed back to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum move there. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Back to pass. It's Vasco. Gets open down the middle. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. The shot that clears headed quickly to the line.
The RPO, it's complete. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. They'll line up for a second down play. To the ground with the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. And you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Now they'll run the draw. Jukes his way for more. Wrestled down at the 26. It's a gain of four. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. On second down, just keeps firing. Got his man quickly. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. The give on the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That defense is about getting off the football. I mean, that defensive line can be disruptive get in the backfield right away and mess up those pullers' actions on those counter plays, it can be really advantageous for the defense. Great job by the defense being hyperactive. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. To the air, it's Vasco. Trying to get to it. Pass rush gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And the kick is good, and guys, we have ourselves a tie ball game. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. And that ball is picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Tosses it incomplete. And as a quarterback, you've got to be able to take advantage of the situation. You were given the ball in tremendous field position. You've thrown two straight incompletions. You can't squander this opportunity. You need a big play here. That's caught. It's Taylor. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. He's looking to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. Oh, picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open, so throw it out of bounds, and you can live to play another day here on this drive. Nowhere close on that one as he got Will trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. 
to throw. It's Simon. Throws to the wideout. He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. Temple lining up to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Uh, you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's, that's a cardinal sin. You know better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here. Trust your reads. Trust what your coaches have told you to do. And just go out and execute the offense. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Now across the 50 and at the 48-yard line. They'll have it first and 10. He's going to throw deep right side. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. I feel like the defense is just living rent-free inside the quarterback's head right now. Of course, they got the pick last drive, and they almost got a pick right now. Right now, they are fooling this quarterback with pre-snap and post-snap. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. And that's just pure speed off the line of scrimmage. That offensive tackle had no shot. Barely even got a hand on that DN as he came around the outside. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. And the shot to clear as will kick it away to crank up the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He gets a block. He's on the loose. And there he goes. They won't get him. It's a touchdown. You can't start the second half any better than that. You're trying to come out of the locker room. You're trying to create some momentum. Taking the first kick of the third quarter back for a touchdown, that is exactly what this head coach was looking for for his players. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. South Carolina looks lost today, and boy, does it show right now on the scoreboard. Almost like the coaching staff spent the week in Hilton Head instead of the film room. They're trailing by 17 to LSU. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Lost to throw on first down off the play fake. Wide open downfield. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. The shot to clears, racing to the line in the hurry up. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. The last play was a near disaster now, dealing with second and 13. The give to the back. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being unphysical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Back to throw. It's Vasco. Looking left. 
He makes a catch. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business for the first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Second and goal for the offense. They'll keep it on the ground to the left, stiffing the goal line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Coastal! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst. And he showed all of those attributes right there. And he tacks on the extra point. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. They'll run it from the gun. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Got his man to the left. And he was off to the races. Finally tipped up at the 36. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So we got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around to make it an easy pass and catch. They'll immediately call timeout. Timeout Temple. The Owls are moving quickly down the field. Cricket. They'll put the tight end in motion. Coming out on first down with the play fade. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back, but, man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of it. Well, when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. As a QB, you've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. You put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give him a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the back. Nice move there. And he was able to push forward for a solid gain as the clock strikes zero here in the third. We've reached the end of the third quarter, and we have a potential classic on our hands all tied up as we take a peek at the stats. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He'll try it again. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. To the air, it's Simon. It's complete to the left. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. 
and this offense can just about haste taking the lead in the fourth quarter, but you do want to be careful not to score too quickly. Nobody open, he just throws it away and it'll bring up second down. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. He wants to pass it on second down. And he'll be knocked down at the two-yard line. And defense is about being great in the great situations on the third downs. Goal line situations like this when you need to get a few stops. Putting a few... Touchdown Owls! They move on top here in the fourth. Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They're just about ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Taylor. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he had just taken the touchback. First down for this offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. Caught over the middle, it's Tucker. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game, you've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. They did right there. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Delay of game, game, game. Offense. Offense. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. They'll move it back, and it's first and 15 for this offense. Hand off from the shotgun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard run. Defense. defense. Defense way over eager there, and now the entire playbook just opens up before the eyes of this offensive coordinator. These guys in a much better position after that penalty on the D. Now it's second and seven. Going to the ground. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his corner. He's trying to keep these third downs managed. You know, you throw the ball on second down. And... Oh, no, the ball popped out. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. You just wonder about this guy's confidence right now. After fumbling in his last game, he's just fumbled again now. He seems like he's a little bit unsure of himself, and because of that, if you're the offensive coordinator, how many more times do you want to go back to this guy in this game? Off play action on first down. Throws for the tight end. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Quick step and go. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Let's go! 
power football with the run. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. No good. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. All wideouts, no bats. Looking for a man. It's Vasco gets it out quickly and he's down after making the catch but did not reach the line to gain this offense has a second down play he's looking to throw got it in the middle it's Taylor and they reacted well to the completion but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down they'll throw it on first down and he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receivers got to do a better job. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. They're setting up the screen. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the pass. The pass. Defense. 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 Look, you want to make the quarterback feel you. You want to get pressure in his face. That was so close, but just a tad late. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. He wants to throw it again. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. He's back to throw on second down. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, shot to clear. Man, great job executing. The offense did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Did you want to kick it, tie it up? I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter. You probably want to do that, but you could push the envelope. You could go for two and try to take the lead. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're efficient and avoid mistakes. Yeah, and those two-minute drills, you always talk about the first, first down. Just get that first, first down, stop the clock, and get some momentum going on offense. Yeah, and good decision-making by the quarterback, too, right? You don't have to be greedy in this situation. Just take what the defense gives you and get yourself in position to win. He will step out of bounds, but not before the mid pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, that's one the DB, I think, would like to have back. Out route, he was in man coverage. If he could have just got out of his break a little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. Working that left side. Defense was right there, but they couldn't stop him from making the catch, and he's got it to the 30. Timeout is called. Clock stops. 13 seconds to go in the game. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. Lasso! Lasso! Use the play fake. Now to throw. They're trying to get to it. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. 
Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. Single back formation, and they give it to it. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. They get the timeout, and the clock reads three seconds. The line of scrimmage is the 25. It'll be a 42-yard kick for the win. From 42 yards out, absolutely smoked it. That's the ball game. That's the entire scenario you build up in your head in the backyard. Final drive, everything on the line, and you get the W. So dang cool. How many times did you do it in your backyard just like that, like you're talking about, Reese? Making the play to win the game on the final drive when your team needed it the most, Jesse. Just coming through in the clutch. Yeah, as players, you love this, and that's why you rep it in practice throughout the week, these two-minute type situations late in games. What are you going to dial up? What can you go execute? What can you lean on in order to get the W? you hear great job by the audience that's going to do it for us from here for jesse palmer david pollock i'm reese davis and this has been another presentation of ea sports college football